In this lesson, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate how to deploy an app on your cluster. So in the previous lesson, we created a cluster and we also obtained the IP address or the URL rather for the dashboard of Kubernetes dashboard user interface. So here, moving forward, let's take a look at how we can deploy. Now, a couple of ways you can do it. You can always go back to your Kubernetes dashboard, right? And you can click on deploy app. And this will give you a nice interface where you can simply type the app name, provide the container image, number of pods you want to create, and the service you want to define to map the incoming ports or target ports as well. So a couple of ways you can do it. This is one way. The other way is, of course, using a shell. Since I love using the shell, we'll use this first. And what we're going to do is clone a WordPress repository and bring that all into our cluster. All right, once obviously the cluster has been created, right? So next we need to basically create a pod, right? And place the containers within the pod. So let's go ahead and I'm going to run the kubectl run WordPress command and bring the image from the WordPress to them. In other words, if I go to my hub.docker.com and just explore this repository called WordPress, I can pull the image directly using the docker pull to them WordPress command. And again, this is a public repository, so you can take a look at this. So once you have created the kubectl run WordPress command at port 80, because that's the external port, hit the enter key, and it says deployment WordPress created. So by default, this pod is only accessible internally, right, to Kubernetes and your cloud environment, Google Cloud environment. To expose it externally to the port 80, next, we would need to be able to tell this pod to make sure that it can be accessible from the outside world. In other words, you can go open your browser and give a URL and then connect to the pod to actually take a look at your WordPress installation. Okay, so you need to expose this pod and the kubectl expose command. I'm going to use that command, in fact, to provide to the pod so that it can be accessible. And of course, I'm going to use the load balancer also so it gets the IP as well. So let's go ahead and let me do kubectl expose deployment WordPress. And then this will be type equals load balancer. Okay, so this is the kubectl expose command after your deployment WordPress has been created. So hit the enter key and this creates a service called WordPress and now it's been exposed. I can also run the kubectl expose describe command just to see how things are moving. So it's rather describe services, not expose. We did that already. So describe services and then WordPress. Because it takes a little while for it to actually create this. So now I have a name called WordPress with a default namespace as default. Labels are run equals WordPress. I have a selector. The type is load balancer. Here's the IP address and here's the load balancer ingress, right? So this is the basically the external IP address, right? So this is the ingress IP. And then of course my node port endpoints and so on. And it tells me that the it's creating the load balancer. All right, let's try again. Let's run the command again, just to make sure to verify whether it's been created or not. So kubectl describe services WordPress. I'm going to run this again. All right, so it created the load balancer. And notice we talked about the external IP address, right? Which is 8.34.216.144. So if I were to, let's say, copy this URL and open up my browser, paste it, try to access this, Notice what it'll do is it'll take me to the WordPress page. Wonderful. So awesome. We did install WordPress, right? Or created a cluster in the previous lesson here. We did the 
WordPress install of our app onto the cluster which is being load balanced among three nodes. So once I have this URL, go to WP Admin, install, and if you are familiar with WordPress, it's a straightforward process, right? So I can click continue, provide the site title, username, password, and install WordPress. It is going to install WordPress on this URL, which is again, your cloud hosted URL. So let's go back to our shell. I'm not gonna do this. You can do this if you like and proceed with the WordPress installation. Straightforward process, install WordPress, asks you for the username, the admin, setup, and we'll take you to the WordPress dashboard. So let's go back to our networking here. If I were to do, let's say, kubectl get services WordPress, notice it'll give me the external IP address right here as well, okay? So instead of looking it up here at the load balancer ingress IP, which may be a little confusing at times, but if you were to run this kubectl get services WordPress command, but this is only after you create the load balancer, right? So after the load balancer has been created, otherwise not gonna work, okay? So let me in fact clear this so you can see it on top. Run this again, kubectl get services WordPress, and here's the IP, which is the external IP is this, and of course you also have your cluster IP listed as well. And since we expose the port 80, you're able to access WordPress on this IP address. Great. Now, this is fine, right? But if you keep this on Google Cloud, you might get charged. So we don't want this, we wanna clean it up, right? So we're gonna delete the services, and then of course delete so that we don't get charged for it, right? So I'm gonna say kubectl delete services WordPress. That's the first step to do a cleanup. And it says service WordPress is deleted. And next would be to actually delete your deployment as well, okay? So this will be kubectl delete deployment WordPress. Make sure the spelling of deployment is correct. So it's with an E. Great, hit enter key. And it goes ahead and deletes your actual WordPress deployment as well. So pretty straightforward process, so to speak. In this lesson, I want to demonstrate how to go about actually deploying your app using Kubernetes. So I hope this helps. Practice, and let's move to the next lesson.